Hello, my name is Daryl Moore. I'm assistant principal here at Great Bend High School. I'd like to welcome you to Great Bend High School, show you a little bit of our facilities, and show you some of the improvements that we plan to make so that we can provide more safety for our students and provide our students with a better education. Let me take you inside the building. These are our front doors. This is our front entryways. We do have buzz-in doors that are used after school hours from uh, 8 o'clock until 3 o'clock, uh, and they, it provides us some safety. But once you are buzzed into the building, you have direct access into any part of the building. You do not have to come to the office, even though we are, you are requested to. Every time people think of security, they go to the worst case scenario, which would be an active shooter. By having you come through the front doors and going through the office, it would not uh, eliminate something that would happen with an active shooter. But there are other security concerns besides active shooters. We have uh, parents coming in maybe that are not to have access to their students. We have other students such as boyfriends or girlfriends from other uh, districts or other buildings that could come in and not go directly to us. We have a number of safety concerns where it would be very advantageous for us to have the person be buzzed in and then come into an office where they would actually meet and, and give the reason to why they're coming into their building to a live person before they could have access to the rest of the building. It would be possible for an irate person or an angry person that's either angry with a coach or a teacher to get buzzed into the building and then go directly to the, the uh, teacher's classroom or that coach's office without coming through the office where we would have an opportunity to de-escalate the situation. So it would be very advantageous for us to have entryway through an office instead of directly into the building. The bond proposal that we have would provide an extra, once you are buzzed in, you would come into an office where you would have direct co uh, contact with a staff member and you would be able to express why you were coming into the building and we would also be able to help you out more efficiently that way than you just coming into the building. Great, you're ready. Okay. We are in the main gym in the high school building and this is where our orchestra practices. We have two orchestra classes, two or orchestra sections. They have to set up and take down every class because their gym is also used for PE, for special needs students. And they are also displaced at many times when they actually have to practice in the band hallway or up on our balcony. Them taking down and setting up every day takes about 15 minutes of their class time that they have. And this is not class time that they can use learning music and learning how to perform on their instrument. So to, if we would, the bond issue proposes that we have a safe room. This safe room would do double duty and we would use it as our orchestra room as well where it could remain set up uh, every day and this would be more efficient use of time for our orchestra. Uh, this past year we had about 67 students that were in orchestra and so it does affect a large number of students and the, the uh, safe shelter would like I say perform a safe environment for us if we were in a tornado or a uh, threatening storm situation it would also be a room that we would utilize if, God forbid, we have an active shooter situation. We are now in the locker rooms in the main building, our competition gym that we use for competition for volleyball, for wrestling, for basketball. These locker rooms were built in 1950. They are original to the building. The only changes that have been made in these locker rooms are uh, lockers have been replaced. When the building was built in 1950, there was no girls athletics, so it was built with the idea of having the visiting team boys on one side and, the, and our boys on the other side. Now we have visiting team boys and girls on one side and our, our team boys and girls on the other side. They do have separate locker rooms, obviously, but they do have to take turns in sharing a common shower. The proposed renovations would include privacy showers that would be put in that will be similar to the privacy showers that we have over at the pack. I am standing uh, at the street on the south side of the building. Uh, we have students that are in the main building that have to travel back and forth each hour between the main building and the pack to change from classes. These students are behind a chain link fence, but they are passing back in clear view of vehicles that are parked on the south side of the building as well as vehicles that are traveling back and forth. 
This represents, I think, a safety concern because they would be available for anybody that is driving by for any mischief that could happen by the people that are driving by. The proposed bond issue would provide for a screening wall that would be here that would keep our students out of sight of the traffic that would be traveling back and forth. It would also separate our stu uh, students from anybody that would be walking up and down the street or could possibly be out here in a parked car. It greatly increased the safety of our students traveling back and forth to class, which they do every day. Okay, I'm standing outside the pack where we have uh, the health rooms and the sports medicine rooms. Currently, the, those classrooms are upstairs and we do not have an elevator facility here. They have to, uh, students have to climb the stairs. It does create a, a, a situation for us if we have handicapped students or if we have students who are temp temporarily immobilized on crutches, uh, in boots, whatever that may be. The new uh, bond proposal would have us have uh, more classrooms and classrooms that are on the ground level here so that they would be accessible for uh, students that are mobily impaired either for a short term or for a long term. It would also give our students opportunities to take more classes uh, such as a sports medicine class. We are now in the locker room in the PAC, the Panther Activity Center. This is a PE locker room. It is not a locker room for athletics. We have 150 lockers in here. The only problem is we have about 230 students that come through and use this locker room. We have two, sometimes three students that are sharing lockers and all the problems that that can cause with lost materials, hidden, hidden materials. And also we just have a lot of students in a very small area, which uh, again impedes with the time of them getting dressed and in and out of here in a quick and convenient manner. It's just an overcrowded facility. We are going to an eight period day this year, this school year, and that has really jumped our overall PE uh, enrollment because it gives the students another chance to take a class that they want. And so many of our students want to be involved in a physical education class, a lifetime sports class, skills that can be used for the rest of their life. With the proposed bond issue, if passed, we will expand the locker rooms here, move them out, make them larger, provide more locker space and more space for students to get dressed and just be a more comfortable situation for their, their, our students and, and provide them with the better, better opportunities. We are now in the wrestling room in the pack. This room serves dual purposes. Not only is it a wrestling room that's made uh, use of after school, but it's also used a lot for our fitness, for yoga classes, for uh, dance classes for other activities that we use throughout the school year during uh, PE. The wrestling room is planned to be uh, expanded again with the bond issue and the activities association is adding competitive girls wrestling uh, as an inter varsity event and so we are going to have not only a uh, boys wrestling team but we will have a girls wrestling team and we need to have a facility that's large enough to accommodate both. We have one more improvement that will be used here at the uh, PAC. We want to have a safe room out here because we have a large number of students out here in our health and uh, sports medicine classes plus all the PE kids that we have. If we are in a situation where we would need to go into a safe room, we don't want to have them have to go across the open area of the football field and be exposed either to, to uh, weather or some other danger. I want to thank all of you for uh, watching this video getting to learn what our plans are to improve our facilities here at Great Bend High School and that we will have intention of providing for better safety and more opportunities for our students. If you'd like to learn more about how the money will be used and the, uh, learn more about the bond issue project, please go to greatbendschools.net. Thank you.